morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are, whenever you're watching this, this is Floating in Dreams, and today I wanted to discuss with you something slightly differently, namely, the way I put together my wardrobe color story. Welcome to everybody watching today's video, thank you so very much for joining me. Today I wanted to come on here and do a fashion slash makeup related video talking about the color story that I've got going on in my wardrobe and how I sort of view what colors I've got going on and how they go together. So I've heard a lot of creators talking about like their wardrobe color story and I feel like yeah that's the way it also works for me. In my wardrobe there are certain colors that I like to go to um, either for like the base layer of my outfits or as a fun pop of something else and I just thought that it kind of works for me the same way that it does for makeup. So that's why I thought I could come on here and chat to you about my fashion wardrobe color story. In case you're unfamiliar with my channel, hi, my name is Maika, I live in the Netherlands. I love coming on here to chat about makeup mainly, eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice reviews and getting the use out of my makeup, but I also really enjoy talking about fashion because fashion is sort of my OG. And I know my videos about fashion don't get a lot of views, but I know that some people do really like them, which is why I continue making them. And yeah, when it comes to color stories, I think that it's definitely like a personal preference. But I have found that there are just a couple of like colors that I like to go to when it comes to colors in my wardrobe as well as in my makeup. And with my makeup, I tend to go um, because I have a fair skin tone that's cool to neutral leaning. Hello, fellow snow angels. I know you're watching. Um, that definitely goes into like the kind of makeup that I feel looks right on me. But when it comes to colors in my wardrobe, I definitely feel I can be a bit more playful. And that has to do with the fact that I'm cool to neutral. And the neutral part in my overall being definitely comes to the forefront if I pair colors in my wardrobe together the right way. I've got quite warmish blonde hair, you could say. I've got fair skin that has a little bit more of a pinky quality to it, but I do have darker brows, darker eyes. So there are just certain things in my features that I feel then bring out my complexion a bit more. And I sometimes just use makeup to correct that. So if I put a color up close to my face that perhaps isn't the most flattering, then I'll just like pop on a bright red lipstick and usually I'm fine. <laughs> so um, that's what I wanted to chat about today. So what colors do I like to go for, uh, go to in my wardrobe? And I've sort of split it up into three parts. The first part are the base colors, then I have the complementary colors, and I have accent colors. So colors that I don't have that much, but that I feel go either with the complementary shades or with the base shades, and that really sort of complete the outfit. So I tend to, whenever I build outfits, I think I actually, the way it works in my brain is that I pick a shade from the base layer and then add a complementary shade and then an accent shade if I'd want to. So they do go hand in hand. So I'll also make sure towards the end of the video to put them all together. And I've actually prepared this already and I will put it at the bottom of, of the screen so you can see what colors I'm talking about as well. So let's talk about the base colors. So that should be at the bottom of the screen right now. And there are eight colors in my sort of like base. And these are the shades that I feel I gravitate towards the most when it comes to things that I like to wear. So in here we have white and black, a mustard yellow, red, a taupey neutral, a light blue, a navy, and a forest green. So I'm not sure, depending on your cam like my camera settings and your screen settings, it may not pop up that way, but that's the way it works in my brain. White and black may seem very obvious, but I'm not an all white or all black kind of girl. I definitely wear blacks and also whites more as like anchor pieces in an outfit. So for me, whites and blacks usually pop up in my shoe options um, because I feel they make for a good neutral there. Um, but whenever I wear like, you know, a black shirt, I will very often wear other things with it. <laughs> I will never really opt for just black. So for me, whites and blacks can be anchor pieces to hold the look together. 
um, or like be like a base to build up from, but I'm always adding colors, always. Um, then for a neutral option here, I went with a taupe. I love taupe eyeshadow, I always mention that. And I have found that taupe is a great uh, shade for me to wear in terms of also like a clothing item. So in recent years, they have veering towards more taupey shades in the neutral sec selections I can find rather than like beiges and camels, which is not, it just doesn't go with my color, my undertone. And I find that taupes work really well. So I have everything from like <laughs> taupe uh, cardigans and taupe pants. And I, I'm still looking for like a good taupe blazer. That would be lovely. Um, but yeah, a taupe is the neutral for me. Like if I want to go neutral, I want to go taupe. And then I put blue in here, like a lighter-ish blue because for me that represents jeans. So for me like a denim blue and I have all different shades of denim from like very pale blues that I like to wear more so in the spring summer season to like really rich indigo blues that I love wearing in the fall winter season. When it comes to denim I'm not a huge fan of like white and black denim. I have it. I've now found a couple of good options for myself but I actually prefer white and black trousers for instance in different fabrics. So for me, blue denim is where it's at. So that's why that definitely had to get a mention in my base color story. And then the other four shades here, they're all more like jewel tones, save for the red. Um, and those I feel are like my favorite shades to wear in terms of clothing, like a mustard yellow cardigan and a, a forest green blouse and like a good navy. I love, 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 love in terms of, again, like base outfits. These are pieces that I feel can anchor things if I wanna wear brighter colors that go with it. Um, and also the red, red is my favorite color. There's a reason why I look good in red lipstick. If I find the right shade of red in like a t-shirt or pants or a dress or whatever, I have red sprinkled throughout my entire wardrobe. I put on a red item and something just happens. It has to do with my complexion, my eye color, and also my hair color. Altogether, red is my color of choice, not just for a pop, <laughs> but if I were to go like monochromatic, like one tone, like a tonal outfit, I would go for red rather than a neutral or a white or a black. So red being my favorite color, it has to definitely be a base color for me because it's such a staple. Red has been my favorite color my entire life for a very good reason. Yeah, and then I just have some jewel tones to round it out. So that's the first section, the base colors that I like to use to, you know, anchor an outfit to make it more well-rounded. I feel that whenever I have one of these items there, an item in this color, I can always complete the outfit. That would, like very often I'll start with one of these colors and then I build it up. The next category are the complementary colors. And the reason why I've called them complementary colors is because I feel they are always like the secondary bit in an outfit. Like I have items that have these colors that are pretty full on. Um, but I like combining these either together or with some of the colors for my base color story. And these are also like the kind of shades where I have a couple of items, but it's not like the main baseline that's going to, that you're going to find a lot in my wardrobe. And what we're talking about here is brown, a cocky green, a bright, like really good bright, not a sunflower yellow because that's too warm tone for me, but more like a lemony yellow, a teal, orange, baby blue, cobalt blue, and lilac. Those are some of my favorite complementary shades. And the way this works for me is that for instance, I don't have a lot of brown, but in terms of like uh, clothing items, but I do have a lot of brown accessories, belts, um, bags, shoes, like whenever the weather starts to turn and I want to soften a look, I opt for a brown shoe instead of a black shoe. Like black shoes I will still wear most of the year, but brown is definitely where it's at. So I have a couple of brown 
items in terms of like pants and like a blazer and a t-shirt. I definitely have brown in those categories as well. But brown for me is very often sort of like the accessories that I add to an outfit. Uh, so that's why for me it's also part of the complementary shades and they're not like the like they're still important in my collection because I use it to round it all out but I feel that it's more so to go with other things and um, brown also is a is a shade that I very much associate with leopard print and again leopard print I don't have too many leopard print single items in my like tops or bottoms or anything like that but I do have a really good leopard print pair of shoes for instance actually I have several pairs I have a pair of boots a pair of sandals a pair of more like heeled sandals and I have a bag as well as coats that have leopard print so for me browns are very important for rounding out looks uh, but especially because they're often part of prints or things like that then cocky green again a shade I love because I feel it goes with my complexion very often and it's a great shade of green to wear, I feel, in like the summertime. I have a cocky green skirt from Forever 21 that I've had for years, but it were, it looks really good with like creamy whites and like buttery yellows. I love that too. Um, so it's definitely like a good complimentary piece, but I don't wear it all the time because I can, I feel it can also drain me a little bit. So cocky on my bottom half, I love, but it's not something I tend to wear a lot at the top part of my body, which is why cocky bottoms, shorts, trousers, skirts, yes, but not so much up top. Then a lemony yellow. I love a good yellow, but yellow is such a different, like difficult color to pull off, which is why I prefer mustardy yellows on me because it has a little bit of a green hint to it usually, which is why I can get away with it a lot more easily. But for like a good bright shade, I love a pop of yellow. I have a very vibrant yellow sweater from Monkey that I've had for years, and I just love it. Is this a shade I have a lot of in my collection? No, I would go with a, for a mustard yellow most of the time. Um, but yeah, a good pop of a bright yellow. I have like a dress and I have like a cardigan, like I've got little sprinklings here and there, but like a good bright pop of yellow can really pull an outfit together, I feel. And then we have teal. So teal clothing, usually it's called petrol in clothing items, but a petrol kind of like tealy, peacocky blue kind of shade, I love, especially as part of knitwear. I have, I think, two cardigans that have a, like a tealy blue kind of shade. Um, I also have a long, do I still have it? I'm not sure, but I used to have a long sleeve from Zara that had it as well. Like I love a good petroly blue, but it's a very difficult shade to find in clothing I find. But if I find it and I, it's in an item that I love, then these like tealy murky blues, I really, really enjoy. And it goes very well with the jewel toned aesthetic, goes really well with whites, goes really well with neutrals as well and it can go with black, so it has a lot to, that it can just, you know, go with. Now, orange, I thought I didn't love, <laughs> but orange is, again, a sh like a color that snuck its way into my wardrobe, you could say, because I've had an orange sweater for years from H&M that I absolutely adore, and I have, like, these like rusty shades as well in some of my dresses. And I found that actually like orange tones, provided they are the right kind of orange, I do really enjoy. So again, usually I like with the browns as part of a print or it's never going to be like the main, main focus of an outfit for me. Uh, so that's why I say it's more of a complimentary shade here. And I feel the same way about baby blue. Baby blue is another one of those colors that I like to very often use to contrast with things. So a baby blue with like a burgundy or a baby blue with like a darker blue for something more tonal. I do struggle with baby blue because very often I tend to wear blue jeans and especially in the spring summer season when I tend to wear baby blue things, I already wear like lighter blue bottoms and then I don't wanna go like all blue. To me, an all blue look very quickly looks like you're wearing old denim, which I don't like as a look. But yeah, baby blue, I do really like. I have, now that I have discovered white bottoms in recent years and I've 
found some really good ones. I do really like like white and blue striped items and very often that looks like from a distance it looks bl baby blue. So that's why baby blue had to make an appearance here because I love it. Um, but I do feel I have to make sure I wear the right kind of bottoms for it to go. Similarly with cobalt blues. I really like these really like electric vibrant blue shades. But I have found over the years that it's very difficult to get it right. Very often it's just a little too or a little uh, and then I'm like mm, it's not perfect. So yeah when it comes to these cobalt blues this season it's like all the rage. So I really like it. <laughs> I really really do. Um, but yeah cobalt blues because of the fair skin and the blonde hair it just goes but I think it's even prettier if you also have light blue eyes which I don't have because I have darker eyes I feel it doesn't always work but then I just opt for the red lip and I'm, I'm good and finally lilac because lilac ooh, lilac can be such a great shade especially like I have a, a lilac I got a couple of lilac items and it's again one of those things where I'm like it can just really pull everything together. It can be a great shade to clash with others. It can, I, I really like it on myself if I wear it by myself. I have a dress from Monkey that I love in this shade. So yeah, it's got a couple of really, really good ones. I've got a sweater as well, which is again, for me, it's like a complimentary shade. And I love black and white with lilac. That's like, that's like a favorite combo. Not just black, not just white, but I have these like checker trousers with a bit of ruffle on the side and I very often wear them with some of my lilac tops and I love it. And finally, the accent colors. So these are the colors that I like to wear but that I either just don't have that much of or that I feel can drain me if it's not combined with the right things but I still really like them. So these are things I just have less of, but that I do really like. And the first one here is a like, what should I call it? Like a cream, like a creamy white, uh, ivory ecru, that sort of like vibe. So not a stark white, but more like a something is there. Then a light gray. I don't love gray as a color for clothing. I just don't. I, I feel it looks a bit dead sometimes. I have a couple of gray items that I love, but very often they're part of a pattern or anything like that. But a light gray t-shirt for me is very often a better option than a white or a black because it's sort of like in between. So if you want something a bit softer, then, and it's not like something that's going to be like dreadful to clean, then a light gray can be really pretty. Also in the accent colors is like a good vibrant purple. I love purple, but again, very difficult to find the right shade. I have a couple of items that I love in a purple and I love it to pieces. Then a baby pink. I love baby pink, but I can't wear it up here too much because it very much drains me. But baby pink is again a shade that I like to wear with other things. Um, I also like more like vibrant like fuchsia pinks and stuff like that so maybe this should just be pink in general um, but I definitely have to pick and choose what kind of pinks I wear and where I wear them and what item it is. I can't just throw on a pink item and it will look good on me. It's a difficult shade for me to get away with but that's why it really comes down to how I, how I wear it. Then finally, the final bottom row here is a baby yellow. I love these like soft yellow shades. I already mentioned I like pairing them with cocky greens, but they can also make for like a good like summer staple. I have a baby yellow um, like blazer that is like a linen blend, which I love in the spring summer season. Sage green. I love sage green. <laughs> I definitely have a couple of like sages, pistachio green kind of items in my wardrobe. And I love how it looks with denim very often. It's a great pairing with like whites and denim and it's a great summer, spring, summer kind of uh, shade. I won't wear it very often outside of that though. And then a bright green, like these bright Kelly greens that we've been seeing a lot. Um, so I love foresty greens and I love cocky greens. But this bright pop of green can make for such a great contrast. Again, like with the pinks, it's like greens in general almost. 
uh, but that are like more brighter, more vibrant. And you have very many different renditions of it. But yeah, I love a good vibrant green shade. Um, I love, uh, I just, I just love pairing it. I have a couple of tops now that do that for me. And I also have a few dresses that do it. And I just feel, I always feel great when I wear this color. And finally, it looks more purple perhaps on screen, but it's meant to represent burgundy. And burgundy is another shade I love. Like dark, plummy, rich reds, wine colored kind of shades. It's a great, great color for the fall season and the winter season as well. It works really well with pinks. It works really well with baby blues. You can pair it with navies, with mustard yellows. It's a very versatile shade. But I definitely have found that it's not a, like, again, not something I will wear from head to toe. Um, but I have a couple of burgundy pieces in my wardrobe that I really like to, like, bring in from time to time. And, again, uh, a shade because I own quite a few Dr. Martens. It is a shade that you find a lot in Dr. Martens shoes. And I just love, like, a dress and then burgundy cardigan, Dr. Martens. And I, I'm out the door. So, yeah, those were the colors in my wardrobe. Uh, um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make several videos a week, also a bit of fashion every month. I try to come on here and do like one or two fashion videos for sure. So if you'd like to stay tuned for more, and then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>